Hello everybody, welcome to Tuesday's video. This one's going to be a bit of a newsy type video, lots of stuff going on, especially over the last 24 hours to talk about. The balance changes compensation type thing has started, and as well, we've had information of Love is a Battle Realm, and Kabam are doing all kinds of weird responding to people, so let's have a look at this. Also, just to give a massive thank you to all my Patreons, YouTube members, and Twitch subs. Man, it's a crazy with the support with the Twitch subs. Obviously, if you've got an Amazon Prime account and you want to give a free sub you can do by hitting the link in the description down below like I said it doesn't have to be to me but it really does help the channel and it is free so that's a good thing as well but if you can't support the channel through monetary means that's absolutely fine all you need to do is hit the like button leave a comment down below and yeah just subscribe and post notifications on you're doing your bit and thank you everybody okay let's begin with champion balances as you know yesterday it's been confirmed that between now and the 24th of February you can sell Namor and Color Obsidian if you're not happy with those champions to get back the full resources that you've put. So yeah, to clarify that point, on February the 24th it will be disabled, you can't sell those champions. March 9th is a projected date to return any Namor and Color Obsidian that was sold, along with duplicates, received gold, ISO, rank up gems, awakening gems and signature stones. Now how I see this to be is that if I was to sell the champion, which I'm not thinking of doing, but the thing that I am interested in doing is because I used a Mutant Awakening gem on said champion, if I was to sell my name in its current state, because I picked up the champion as a 20 sig pull from a, like a duplication from a crystal, then therefore that would be fine for me to sell and get the champion back, but also get a Mutant Awakening gem for my troubles. Anyway, what will you be doing with these two champions? Will you be selling them in order to get back some resources to reinvest in a new champion? Are you really happy with them as they are? What are your thoughts? Put them in the comment section down below. So the most important thing is the love event. The Loves of Battle Realm 3 is back. Loves of Battle Realm 3 2. Inventive title. As a lot of you should be aware, this starts tomorrow. This event does start tomorrow. The event itself has some pretty interesting global buffs, so head over heels. The buff will require you to finish your fights with a heavy attack as the killing blow. I can imagine some of what stun immunity, that's what I'm saying. A new boost can be collected for a limited time called the power of love. God, I hate this. This will stun the defender when they're close to being defeated, making land and landing heavies more easier. Their boost can be collected through completing unique solo objectives. Ooh! Yes, it's exciting. The biggest mystery is Love Juice. Jism, whatever you want to call it. Love Juice is a unique potion only available from this event. They're stronger than regular potions and will help you take on some of the challenging content around the contest. They come in two tiers with lesser Love Juice, available at lower difficulties and be stronger than level 3 potions, and Love Juice, available at higher difficulties which are stronger than level 4 potions. Delightful. But the Love Juice won't stay potent forever. No, it, 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 cer it certainly won't. Oh dear. On March 11th, 10am PST, these potions will be converted. Each Love Juice will be converted to level 4 health potions and each Lesser Juice will be converted to level 3 health potions. So use them while you can. Obviously this is going to be incredibly important for those that want to make sure that they don't have to use the Love Juice and want to convert it to health potions. It's still weird saying Love Juice. Oof. But the fact is, if you want to be a free-to-play player, you want to get some extra health potions, then this is going to be a good opportunity for you. So yeah, make sure that you play well and you don't have to use too much of this love juice. The rewards look a little bit like this. It will be up to the player whether or not they feel it's an opportunity to do all types of difficulties. Obviously for myself and a lot of players that may be kind of more end game, they may look to just doing like Master and Epic. But at the same time, if they're interested in just doing like a free grind with uh, daily energy spend, then maybe Heroic and all. Potentially, if they're interested in some of the Shattered Hero Crystal Shards, or as well, maybe they're interested in some other stuff. For videos, I'm probably going to be doing all difficulties just to obviously do content. But obviously, the Epic is where people are most finding like some great importance. Six Star Shards, 1,000. Not too bad. Five Star Shards. 5,000, again, not too bad. Shattered Heart uh, Crystal Shards, not not too bad as well. Like Everything is not too bad. It's not bad, it's not amazing. It's just still good and run-of-the-mill for a side event quest. 
if people were expecting more than a thousand six star shards and upwards of one fully formed five star crystal look again from this side event the solo objectives still haven't been kind of uh, given out so there could be some more rewards in that one so i'll wait until i see that before casting any judgment but apart from that it just seems to be a standard side quest but I guess it will be down to the difficulty levels that we see. The Legendary Shattered Heart Crystal will be fun as well. And I'll do a big opening towards the end of the month. The most important thing is the cost. I think a lot of players have been saying to me about energy spend. And this is positive that it's not too much of a hefty spend. If it was just three energy per tile, I'll be absolutely flipping my lid. But one energy per tile isn't too bad with a spend of 134 energy points. Also, obviously, what does that translate to? Well, that's if you're a level 60, then that's just two energy refills. Or it could be a daily plus uh, one energy refill, depending on how you look at it. So that is pretty positive and probably will mean that this event will be pretty well done and smashed out. Now, this is the point where things get really weird. And I don't know whether or not somebody is handing around some sort of aphrodisiac around the Kabam office. But, you know, they really get into the spirits of things. So let's read some of the, 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 the funny things from members of Kabam. First of all, what is love? So when Kabam... Doot, is asked the question, do Mysterio and Vulture not love me or are they evading my five star roster for a reason? The response is, I'm not sure if Mysterio loves himself, but self love is something we should all practice more. I mean, we all know what that means. Wanker, wanker, wanker. Quite curious and as well, a very valid question. I was hoping Kabam Thrillson would be the one posting this. This doesn't seem right. Who? I wouldn't know that account. I certainly wouldn't out myself as an accomplice, even if I did. No, sir. When asked the question, what's important about April 25th? Is it your birthday? Should I put it on the calendar to wish you well? Kabam me cases, because it's not too hot, not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. I always thought it was jacket off with you. X Factor says, look, I know where babies come from, but how are they made? Kabam Duke responds with, Babies are made from baby powder and water, and sometimes music. It will be available from the start, but unlock like a one-shot, so you have to play them in order. Now I think even though that's a response to the quest, it also is a good euphemism about how babies are created. Rocket Waffle says, can Deadpool spare any of that potion for somebody who definitely is not desperate for someone? Dude, responds with, we'd love to send you some, but unfortunately this stuff is complete opposite of shelf stable. For health and side effects, changes in your vision, shortness of breath, longness of breath, loss of appetite, gain of appetite, vomit, that looks and tastes like coffee grounds, nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, plagiarism, dark urine, hawk urine, jaundice, we've got jaundice as well, swelling in your heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth. Anyway, uh, low blow, uh, low blow, oh god, oh what am I thinking of, low blood cells. Uh, trouble concentrating, yes, exactly. Burning in your eyes, heart, and soul after playing uh, difficult content in MCC. But I like the fact that this was edited by Kabam Mike. Like, like it was like maybe it went a bit too far. <laughs> it had to be kind of like toned down a little bit. Kabam Broccoli also comes with general romance question here. What makes a good Tinder bio to avoid being forever alone this Valentine's Day? asking for a friend <laughs> i like dude comes in with would you would you use any of the following lines say yes to the mess looking for my missing place and that place is a kidney what is your blood type is it always uh cuffing season for police officers you tell me you were a cop right haha <laughs> looking for the cinnamon to my toast crunch yeah i'm cavalier well, that's a good idea. Maybe we should put that on our Tinder bios. No, I really like this. I thought this was absolutely hilarious. A nice little kind of banter between like people in the community and also Kabam representatives. But I must stress there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be dealt with, like bugs and the consistency of the game that needs to be dealt with. So um, have a day of fun. By all means, just deal with the other stuff that needs to be dealt with. Like mocking me in motion comics. Damn you, Kabam! In any case, what are your thoughts on the event? Put them down in the comment section down below. Thoughts on the rewards? Do you think they're good enough? Are you going to wait and reserve judgment until we see the objectives rewards and what they're going to be like? Will you be making sure you don't spend too much on your love juice? God, I hate saying that. I really do. And you kind of think because I'm I'm the person that's meant to come off as smutty. And I did say I wouldn't do it quite so much, only in live streams. 
what are you doing to me kabam you want me to be demonetized in any case what are your thoughts put in the comment section down below yeah and check out some content that's over here with this thing over there support links here if you want to support the channel thank you very much and as always i shall see you in the next video tomorrow maybe bye bye